It's Broadway week here on PIX. In the mid 80s, Woody Allen made a legendary film about a down on his luck theatrical agent. Well, this weekend, Broadway Danny Rose, which was filmed in several New Jersey towns, was shown on a huge outdoor screen in Fort Lee, and one member of the PIX family had a memorable role in the film. Take a look. <laughs> what is say? This is two years out of our guts. Don't be so nervous, Lou. You know, you gotta take him out Sunday and let him relax a little bit. Every Saturday in the summer, the Fort Lee Film Commission treats the crowd to performances by local bands and a classic movie on an outdoor screen. I don't know what's up. The kids are driving me nuts over here. Yup, that's me, an eight-year-old Staten Island Chuck, misbehaving as usual, this time on the silver screen in the 1984 Woody Allen comedy. Allen played a struggling agent who managed a C-list singer played by Nick Apollo Forte. I landed the role as Forte's son. This weekend, Forte and renowned TV and radio host Joe Franklin were there to introduce Broadway Danny Rose. Franklin played himself in the film. I've not been in a lot of movies. I've been, I'm in Ghostbusters. I'm in a lot of movies, but, but this had to be a highlight movie in my entire career. It's just it's beyond uh, imagination. It's, it's exciting. This weekend, I reunited with my on-screen dad. And after some 27 years, he remembered me well. But you really gave me trouble. I mean, right. you were like a stunad over there. You were like, you were like walking and everything. And I'm saying, I'm going to motivate this kid. And these kids are driving me crazy. And here's something else you may not know. Before there was Hollywood, there was Fort Lee. The history of motion pictures can be traced all the way back to Fort Lee, with the very first production studio being built there in 1909. Many others followed along with a wave of original movies. But soon, the studios were heading west. They ended up uh, going out to California. The land was cheaper. The weather was much better. The studios, by and large, by 1925, all the action was in Hollywood. This weekend, it was clear. Fort Lee has not forgotten its importance in the film industry. And as for Forte and I, it was a chance to sing the most popular song from Broadway Danny Rose one last time. My goomba in the bond zone. When I eat, he gets the street like a con zone. He enjoys every meal, every bite that I steal. Watch it, my goomba in the bond zone. Rum pa pam. All right, Hachi <laughs> And it's Broadway week here at PIX, and uh, this weekend, the legendary Woody Allen film, Broadway Danny Rose, was shown on a huge outdoor screen in Fort Lee. And some of the stars from the film, of course, were there, including a member of the PIX family who actually played a very memorable role in the film. Take a look. Can you guess who that is? See that little boy there? Well, that's Staten know. Island Chuck. He was eight years old. He played singer Nick Apollo, Forti's son, and uh, this is back in 1984. And of course, he was misbehaving as usual. This weekend, Chuck reunited with his on screen dad, and after 27 years, he actually remembered him well. But you really gave me trouble. I mean, <laughs> right. you were like a stunad over there. You were like, you were like walking and everything, and I'm saying, I gotta motivate this kid. And these kids are driving me crazy. <laughs> Now, Fort Lee was the original birthplace of the film industry, even before Hollywood. Uh -oh. Every Saturday in the uh -oh. summer, the Fort Lee Film Commission treats a crowd to movies and music under the stars. It's a chance for the town to celebrate its rich film history. As for Forte and Chuck, it was a chance to sing the popular song from the film one last time. in the bonzo. When I eat, he gets the street like a con zone. He enjoys every meal, every bite that I steal. Watch it down, my goomba, in the pond zone. And we got to see a little bit of Chuck uh, doing his thing, moving, but I'm sure he danced the rest of the night as well, right? Yeah, yeah it was funny. Chuck was saying that, you know, he wondered if the guy was going to gonna remember him, and he did very fondly. And he too. called him Stu Nod. Do you think Chuck is? I, yes. You're asking me? <laughs> Chuck, we love you. He was just joking, I'm sure. I hope your feelings aren't hurt. And again, you won't be seeing Chuck singing on Broadway. I hope not, you think. But coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we'll be checking out Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, as Broadway Week kicks off here on PIX. I actually think he'd be good in Chicago, don't you? He'd Shouldn't be great. He? Yeah, he should, you know, dress up. All right, coming up on the <laughs> coming up for the next hour. Stay tuned for all the top headlines. I did not realize that Staten Island Chuck was full of so much history. You see, he was a superstar even at age eight. Mm -hmm. well, he's a superstar now. <laughs> see, we call him the Lord of the Dance here. Uh, <laughs>